The Hoover Dam Bypass Bridge is finally finished. It's called the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, and it honors a Nevada governor and an Arizona hero. Reporter Nathan Baca live at the bridge to show what it's come to mean for those families and what it means for drivers. Nathan? Well, for Las Vegas drivers, it means a shortcut from the congested US-93 on Hoover Dam. That's going to be great for long-haul truckers bringing products to Southern Nevada, which could mean lower shipping costs. But for two families, this bridge means something deeply personal. Nevada Governor Mike O'Callaghan's daughters place flowers on the bridge dedicated in honor of their father. Many things are named after my father, but this is just truly symbolic. Um, very touching, and we're very blessed by this. He was a bridge builder. builder. The O'Callaghan family stood next to the family of fallen Army Ranger Pat Tillman of Arizona. And I think Pat would be flattered to be associated with him. I am. I mean, I'm flattered that his, our family name is associated with the O'Callaghan's. It's, uh, they have a pretty interesting history. History played out with the blessing of the bridge by Paiute Indian elders. Federal leaders gathered with Nevada's congressional delegation to say that this bridge was an example of government keeping 1,200 construction workers on the job. Came at an opportune time, you know, with the way the economy was for everyone that worked on the project, you know, so it was uh, very lucky for all of us. This 1,900 foot long bridge took more than five years to build cost $240 million. Much of Nevada's share of the bill has already been repaid. I just worked with so many good people from engineers to the supervisors to the workers. I mean, this is an extremely difficult job. The going up and down these arches every day, I mean, it's phenomenal what the guys did. The Hoover Dam bypass bridge will open up mid to late next week. They'll be opening it up sometime overnight, not wanting to create a traffic jam for people that are waiting to actually become the first ones to drive across that bridge. Reporting live from the Hoover Dam, Nathan Baca, 8 News Now.